Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Makeup Monday. So today's video, as you can see, is an all orange makeup look. Some of you have been asking me to create an all orange look and I had to really brainstorm because I feel like orange is one of those colors that is not hard to create but it's hard to be like a little bit like artsy fartsy because orange only goes so deep before it turns red or pink. So today I wanted to play with the culture palette from Juvia's Place which is another palette that you guys have been asking me to film with and I actually didn't have it. Juvia's Place was kind enough to send it to me. They sent the palette as well as their new uh, liquid eyeshadow. So I am using the palette and the liquid eyeshadow. So I just wanted to try it out and see what I thought. That is what we are going to film today. My teeth are so sensitive, you guys. I just started my um, bite aligners. I literally just took them off so I can talk because this is my day one. But by the time you see this video, it will already be almost a week of eyeliners. I'm in some pain, okay? So I gotta pop these babies back on. We're gonna jump into today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And um, you already know, grab your cafecito and let's start with today's Makeup Monday Orange Vibes tutorial. Guys, we're gonna jump right in. Taking my Profusion Base Neutral Base. <laughs> I actually have been really enjoying this product. It's like five bucks at Walmart or Profusion and it creates this beautiful like canvas on your lids. So it just really cleans up the eyes, colors or covers any discoloration and it grips the eyeshadow super nicely. P.S. If you hear a lisp, I have my Invisalign trays in. We're going to go with the Culture Palette by Juvia's Place and we're going to be working with the orange shades, the row right here. I'm going to start off with the shade Naira Land and before I do that, I did set like underneath the brows and like the outer perimeter of the eyes or the lids, I guess, with a little bit of like loose powder just to avoid any skipping. So again, going into the shade Naira Land, this is such a beautiful, bright neon orange color. On camera, it looks a little mustardy, but it's definitely very pigmented. Like this eyeshadow was very bright and neon. Like usually my husband, I mean, he compliments my eyeshadows. He's used to it, I think. But when I was wearing this eye color, he was like, whoa your eyes are super like neon. I'm like, I know, right? So I really like this palette so far, you guys. I mean, I've only used the orange shades, but I was so into this look. So after I've applied that color, I'm gonna go in with the shade Jigawa. Now this one is my favorite. Oh my goodness. It is such a beautiful, true citrus orange. And again, very neon. The camera doesn't pick it up because of all my lighting and everything, but we're going to focus that onto the crease right where your socket is. That is where I'm applying the most color. I do go back multiple times, as you can see, and I dip my brush back into the palette to make sure that I pick up enough pigment. You definitely lose color as you are applying and blending and tapping. So for me, it's always key to go back and reinforce the color as many times as you like until you are satisfied with the saturation of your eyeshadow. That way, this will show up the most in your pictures. I'm going to go back with a big fluffy blending brush. This one is by Morphe and I'm going to blend those two shades. You only want to blend where the shadows meet to create a beautiful blown out sunset type of vibe. Now the third shade we're going is in with is Wazobia and this one is in the orange family as well but it's leaning a little like red, a little terracotta. It's really pretty. I feel like this one all over the lid with just like a hint of color would look so pretty. Very like bronzy glam. So this is going to be like the deepest shade that we are going to be using. As you can see this palette doesn't really have deep shades which is fine. 
so I just wanted to keep it a little fun a little playful but I added a little bit of depth you guys know that I went back with the first shade which is Naira Land, and I just diffused the colors and then I'm gonna take my elf concealer in the shade white to carve out my crease using one of my absolute favorite tricks you guys you guys know me by this I'm just using a little curling wand or eyelash curler to carve out the crease I'm gonna go back with the shade Jigawa, which is that second shade that we use, and I'm applying that all over the lid. The reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to go with a glitter eyeshadow and I really wanted that orange to pop. I'm gonna work on the outer part of the eyes and I'm going in with the shade Wazobia and I'm really intensifying it and just cleaning it, making sure that everything looks nice and diffuse. Now I'm taking one of the Juvia's place culture eyeshadow glitter eyeshadows these are the dual chrome and this one is so pretty i will have the name listed down below it just went perfectly with this look because it shifts to like orange red and pink i loved it i did go back and i worked on the crease i love doing this just to intensify like the crease and for it to look deep and like super cut and crisp I really enjoy doing this. This is a brush from ColourPop from their Bare Necessities collection. Now I decided to do eyeliner. I don't really do eyeliner on camera because I have to be like my face in the mirror. But this eyeliner, you guys, oh my gosh, it is so good. It's the new one from Benefit. It's the Precision Liner in the shade Black super nice i really really liked it and i just created a regular eyeliner you can do it thicker you can do it thinner i went with something in between and then i went with the norena little eyeliner so once that you activate with like water or a setting spray and i actually took a little <laughs> like a little wand from one of my other eyeliners cleaned it off and used that to create this orange graphic liner on top of the eyeliner I just really wanted it to pop and against the black it just looked super nice and honestly I hadn't used these Norvina liners in years so after that I went in with an orange waterline this one is from the Colourpop and Raw Beauty Christy collection so I'm sure Colourpop has orange ones but this one was so pretty and it was the only like orange that i had and then of course we're going to prep the lashes with a little bit of mascara but before that i wanted to add a little bit of inner corner highlight so i went with oh my gosh i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that shade because i'm going to butcher it but to the lower lash line i first went in with the shade with zobia and applied that to closest to the lash line as i could to just get that really like intense color and then i went back with jigawa and blended that out so you can also go in with naira land but i just decided to stop there for my lashes i am using my own these are the omg lashes in the style 1990 and we just pop those suckers on <laughs> now for my lip i went with the kkw honey to lip liner i know her stuff hasn't come back but you guys write this down because this lip combo was pretty fire i was like wow okay i really like this and then i used the profusion perfect pout soft matte lip tint in the shade confidence at first i was like mm, i don't know how i felt about it like it wasn't really working but the more that i blended i was like okay i see you girl it looks really really good so i was really happy but then i was like it needs a little more peachiness so i added this kkw matte lipstick so i hope you guys enjoy this little lip combo and tutorial so i'm gonna set this skin before we close off the video i'm using the conceal and define infinite mattifying longwear 16 hour wear setting spray by makeup revolution this is my second time trying it so I'm going to have to keep you guys updated on how it works. Because if you guys have been watching me, you know that I live by my Urban Decay setting sprays. But they're definitely like a little expensive and I go through them. 
very quickly. So hopefully this can replace the mattifying setting spray by Urban Decay. But that is it, you guys. So this is the completed look. This is my Makeup Monday video for you guys. What do you think of this look? If you guys recreated, as always, please tag me on any of your recreations. I love to see you guys. Like, seriously, you make me so proud. Every single one of you that has reposted my looks, you guys just blow me away. You guys are some amazing makeup artists. And you make mama proud so thank you so much for recreating my looks it really does mean so much to me and you guys just keep me inspired and you guys keep pushing me to my limits so that is it for me i am gonna check out i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day i'm probably just gonna chill and uh, just take some cute selfies for you guys so i'll see you in my next video bye